barely time to keep your eye off the ball, but if you keep your eye on this, it's the aerial T-shirt launcher. Well, the ball's been flying into the stands now, it's aerial T-shirts. Can win anything with that. Washing machines, ball sign, bats. Fahim Ashraf now into the attack. Still really not getting hold of this Devsic. Fahim Ashraf bowls the Yorker well, so you have to have that death bowling head right now on. Because it's that kind of day. It's that kind of pitch, that kind of ground, balls disappearing everywhere, so defensive skills as a bowler have to come forward. He's gone after it and he finds Chadwick Walton and Fahim Ashraf has removed Devsic. A wide delivery, just too wide for Devsic to get any sort of timing on that. Tried to go over the infield, but I think the ball just got too wide for him and couldn't get any timing on that. So, a wicket, by Mushroom strikes, stand by the United on the board. Yeah, no timing. Deficit out for 18, 51 for one. Fahim Ashram with his angle is going away from the left hand and also very wide, so he really stretched for that, did Anton Devsic. Right at the bottom of the bat. Absolutely furious with himself. Oh, fuck is the man. Yeah, Ricky Bessels has just arrived. She wants a replay, a review of that shot, because it was a dot or a single. That's a high, been a highlight. It was Lama, but if it doesn't go for four, there's a fielding team, it's a highlight. He's got to carry on right till the end, a bit like Del Pot's knock. The Lenders need to be calm, that's right. Big shot, doesn't get connection, and is that taken? That's a wonderful catch. It's Phil Salt who's claiming it. He says it's out. Are they going to go for a review? Yeah, generally we see with these sort of decisions that the umpires want to go and confirm. They're saying, did, did you think you see it? Okay, so I'm assuming it'll be a review, but the soft signal should be out well the little girl that we just saw on the screen has got her wish so it is a review <laughs> she wanted one she's got one it's not a no ball so the landing issue is resolved it just didn't get the middle of the willow it went to the fielder who came in judged it quite well John Tia leave Leave it to the expert here. John T. Rhodes, your call. Yeah, what he's done well, he's moving to his right. He's had to then change his line, head in, and he's got his hands underneath the ball, which was a fantastic catch because he's had to adjust his approach to the ball. He was moving to his right, and that's really well held by Philip Salt. Yeah, he landed softly as well. Otherwise, the ball could have popped out of his grab and off his, out of his hand. Landed on the side and uh, slide it, and I think he's got it. Soft hands. The ball did not bounce off his palm because he, he landed quite softly. This is expertly done. Brilliant piece of fielding. And targeting that catch was salt. So he's gone. Skipper is out for 38. It's 65 for two. And that's the issue. You can't afford to play a dot the pressure is so much on the batting unit that you can't afford to miss that line yeah really well bowled by Fahim he's got if you, if you look at the context of the runs being scored that's a good length it was cross seam the ball did move off the wicket and uh, his 
1.5 overs, 2 for 11, that is brilliant. Gone, taken at point, the catching has been flawless from the United. Asif Ali leaps up in the air and takes a good one. Yeah, it's the last ball of the over, so all the fielders are on the ring. For him again, that back of a length, he bangs it in. He does generate pace and bounce. Just tries to steer it almost in the gap. Doesn't go reverse cup, which for me is always something uh, I find hard to believe. But well held, happiness all round. And uh, Harris Hale's gone without troubling the scorer. It is 70 for three. Bahim. Should be out, is it? Shut up! Ah, oh, yeah, running, too easy. Wonderful athlete, this young fella. Fourth one for Fahim Ashraf. On a day where the batsmen have gone berserk, this man has just pulled everything back. Went high in the air and shut up, made it look so very simple. Ran in, took it, Fahim Ashraf. He's now got four for 13. Aga Salman out for three, 145 for six. Sohel Akhtar is playing a very good hand here for the Kalundas. He needed Fakazaman to stay there for a long time, but he's taken up the uh, the rein here for his team. Faim Ashraf has now moved into second place behind Hassan Ali in the leading wicket takers, the HBL PSL this year, 17 from 10. Hassan Ali 18 and 9, Sohel Tomvir, Wahab Riaz, and Haris Rauf. That's so good to see Harris Rauf, the Kalunda there. Little cross seam grip there for Fahim Ashraf. Three overs, four for 18, and I reckon he fancies getting another one to make it a, a haul of five. Straight up, how well has he hit it? Not well enough, he's found Shadab Khan, and Shadab might have the final say. It's five wickets for Fahim Ashraf. And how well he has bowled on a tough night for bowlers. Yeah, it is fantastic piece of bowling. We saw everything from Fahim, the slow bouncers, the quick balls, and he wanted to hit it off the middle of the bat, didn't get the middle, and he was taken by Shadab at long on. Yeah, wonderful scenes, wonderful moment for a very fine all-round cricketer. Fahim Ashraf has done the unbelievable here where the bowlers have been tonked for fours and sixes he's come in and picked up five for so Lachta played a great innings of 75 it's 175 for seven Shaheen is on strike. Oh, he was very close to making it six wickets. First five wicket haul in this year's HBL PSL belongs to this man, Fahim Asra. Yeah, he wanted to hit it for a six, didn't find the middle of the bat, and good catch by Shadab. He is happy for his mate. Islamabad United have bowled splendidly well. They, they had the runs on the board as well, but still job had to be done and it was done largely by Fahim Ashraf.
5 for 18. Charles of a 6 for. Well, he's bowled uh, fairly short for four of his wickets. Bowled him! It's a six-wicket haul for Fahim Ashraf. What a brilliant spell this is by the young Tyro and Islamabad United are getting home here tonight. Yeah, it's a zinger effort, this. Beautifully bowled, the fuller length, the Yorker length. And it worked perfectly for Fahim, and so he carries on with this wonderful bowling spell. Six for 18 presently, Shine Afridi gone for one, 175 for eight now. Sandip Lamachane is the new batsman and he doesn't want to be part of history because no bowler has ever taken seven wickets in the T20. Oh, it was bang on. Could be out here, direct hit I reckon he'd got. But there's still two balls here for Fahim Ashraf to become the first ever bowler to take seven in a T20. Why stop at seven? Possibility of an eight for... <laughs> Well, this is nice and full at pace, and Shine Shah Freedy could do nothing about it because he wanted to make room to hit it square through the offside, undone by a lovely length. Dean Jones is happy with that. 